Welcome to Golf Talk Radio with PGA professionals Mike Fravenek and Billy Gibbs. Golf Talk Radio is brought to you by Taylor Made Golf, Paso Robles Golf Club, Slick Sticks, your key to better golf, McPhee's Grill of Templeton, dedicated to great food and great service, McGowey Health Group, expect something different, and Nikki Anderson, Realtor. And now the hosts of Golf Talk Radio, Mike and Billy. Welcome back in, everybody. Golf Talk Radio with Mike and Billy. Second hour. So glad you guys are with us. Uh, in the studio, we have Claire Alford. She's first T Central Coast participant and uh, outstanding NorCal participant as well at the academy up at uh, Pebble Beach. Billy. Yes, sir. Did you know I'm wearing my Peter Millar five pocket pants? Well, I noticed how nice your pants were when you walked by. That's the first thing I noticed. You're looking at my pants, aren't you? I was. I was checking you out. I was, too. So you we were, too? All heads were turning your way. Yeah. I thought maybe well, I had Claire's something on me. Look. I couldn't quite but figure then, that but out. As Is that were, why you got nervous? But as you were going <laughs> yeah. by, I can honestly <laughs> only count four pockets. Well, there's a fifth pocket. Well, explain. It's, a, it's, it's down below on the leg. It's, it's a, a, nice it's a leg pocket. It's a leg pocket. Like a down, can you see it? I, I can't up, see it right it, now. Is it? Well, I want to see it. I'm sitting down. <laughs> I'm all curious. But I just, and all, all kidding aside, I want to let you know how yeah. soft and, and comfortable these pants are. And they're probably the best pants that I've ever worn. These five pocket Peter Millar pants. You guys can check them out too. Go to petermillar.com backslash golf talk. That's M I L L A R dot com backslash golf talk. Get free shipping and a free hat. Billy's wearing his free hat right now. I didn't know it was free. You charged me for this hat. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. That was a small donation. Well, it's, uh, it's small. <laughs> we have to collect money where we can. So, so it's a donation. Yeah, how's the blimp? I'll come back to the blimp in a minute. So the shirt is the <laughs> most comfortable shirt I've ever worn. You and told not... me, you actually, the other day you said that. Yeah, you. it is. Yeah. It's awesome. It's cool, huh? It's a cool shirt. It's it like is. it's not even there. I they are, it, they are experts. Peter Millar is ex- our experts in clothing. Don't forget, you guys, check out the Five Pocket Pants, the sports performance shirt, petermillar.com backslash golf talk, and you'll get that free shipping and a free hat. So we appreciate Peter Millar partnering with us on the Golf Talk Radio with Mike and Billy podcast. I understand Kenny Millar plays or uses them. <laughs> he probably yeah. does. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know who I saw wearing a Peter Millar shirt, I think, the other day? <laughs> Was uh, Colin Cowherd. Cal Cowherd. Right. Cowherd. I listen to Cowherd all the time. I watch him Cowherd. on YouTube. And I think I think he has our shirt, Billy. I believe he's wearing our shirt. Wow. The white shirt, the long sleeve one. Okay. Well, I guess we're getting back to the hardest <laughs> hole you ever played. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Very good. <laughs> nice. nice. So before we before we went to break, we were talking about the hardest hole and it got to be a good discussion during the break. And Nikki, yes, hardest Billy? hardest hole to make par on. It, locally. Locally. Yeah, Morro Bay. 13. Downhill, par par, long par four. Yeah. Struggle, mm-hmm. struggle making pars. And you, you well, can hit it pretty good. I hit a good. long ball, and I still have to hit at least a five wood into that green. It's a small if, green, too, and, and it's an elevated And if you get above elevator. the hole, you're in trouble. So all the pieces are difficult. Length, position, yeah. green. Yeah. And the Look. green breaks backward. And then what's so. really difficult is they put the, the gold tees are right with the white tees, so there's no advantage. But then the guys say to me, Oh, it's a par five for you. Yeah, is it? It is. Well, then, but it, then it's easy for you to make five. Well, it, yeah, except the fact that when you're playing straight up, guys, best ball, it doesn't matter what the par is. A five is going to lose to a four. Oh, so, but you, when you <laughs> so, say it's the most difficult to make par, you're thinking the I'm four. I'm thinking the four. Got it. Which is you should. Uh, Which I, mean, I should. How about you, Mike? Uh, I would have said at one point number two at Avila, but I'm I'm going with number 10 at Pass Robles Golf Club. I think number 10 is... 470 yard par four, yeah. a drive into an upslope. That is a hard one. And then if you don't get it far enough, you can't see the pin. So you're hitting a blind shot into a par four with a pond on the left. And then the rough is so thick around the green that if you miss the green. Isn't that your you course? Know, it is. Don't you have any say on this? Because we go up there and we get just beat up on it. Well, hole. you know, I was going to say, as we were talking during the break. <laughs> Aren't there trees number, making it hole tighter? Number, hole number two at Avali, like what I really thought about, like, it's, it is, it's probably right there with 10. But you I bet. can't remember the last time I had a par on number 10 at Paso. I Seriously, I don't. I think I did make par last time, but I had a full, like a three-quarter wedge, eight feet. you got to have an up and down you know there. I mean? So I'm always hitting like three hybrid into that green. <laughs> you know, another good one is number nine at... Uh, La Parisima. Oh, any hole. 
<laughs> <laughs> the back nine. <laughs> well, the last three, four holes in the wind are yeah. brutal. Yeah. Well, number nine is so high 16. and it's always is windy. It 16, 16 at Parisma? 16. The oh, shoot. yeah. Yeah, Go out shoot, the shoot. Howling wind. Time goes. Yeah. yeah, that's brutal. You can hit a great drive, a great approach shot, and that green is brutal. Still can't find your ball. That green is, a, <laughs> that green is just brutal. Yeah. But 18 you're, you're, at Poppy You're 10. Hills. You're number 10. 18 at Poppy. Oh, Would well, they used to be the easy. nine? Little tiny par fives. Both of them reachable. <laughs> yeah, they are. I those agree. Are, those I are tiny little I gotta holes. tell you, that hole oh, gives. Well, one it. of our groups hit wedge in the second for a second shot. Adam drove it up there, hit wedge into the. Wow. Shot. Really? Yeah, he hit wedge in two par five. He's um, your number ten, I used to think was the best hole in the county for a long, long time, yeah. just because it just was all golf hole. Man. Even yeah. when I could hit it, there's no and gimmicks. There to was, it. it was just an awesome golf hole. Now it's one of the hardest holes because my length is gone. But it was always the best. But why the pond in front? You said that's natural. Right? Well, there's the pond on the left that's yeah. natural. The pond that I Are showed you, you during of, the storm was. Oh yeah, that was the additional. <laughs> that was that was natural. <laughs> that was a cash pond. That was okay. a cash. But a great great hole. But number two at Avila when they used to have the tees back there, they're yeah. gone. Those tees are no longer there. I, yeah, I heard. And it was like two fifty or something, and, and and it was just insane. It was to make three in that hole. Was golfing your ball? Yeah, I mean, really golf. Yeah, that's what I mean. I like those, before, those two to me are right there. Like if that one still existed, at, at and Avila, seventeen but it or fifteen at Avila from the tee that no one plays. Yeah, they have that little tee when Nagi got all crazy. I love that. <laughs> that's, if that's, 15 is the par three, but they have a tee on the oh. other side of the lake. Yeah. Yeah. It's like 270. <laughs> yeah. You got a bus driver. I mean, it's like another county. It's like you didn't know there's a tee back there. Yeah. It's off the cart path or something. That was cool. That was fun. We used to play when we take those big tees. That was a fun But one. that was driver. I would always say driver there. Yeah. That's, that's a tough hole in the afternoon because you're yeah. looking right into the sun. So, anyways, I'm just curious what you no, guys think. They did that all. on number six at Monarch. They stretched it out to that little par three. It's like 160, 70 yards. Well, they put a new tee in. It's two fifty five. Oh, on the, now the new back nine or the new front nine? Uh, down the, the hill on the one she won the truck on. No, After that's that. number two. Okay. Well, oh, the other one. Yeah, yeah. There's a tee way back there near the, near the right, restaurant, right next to the other green. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a good hole. I looked. It's that. a good hole where it was. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> Driver to <a> three iron. <laughs> So, Claire, what are your closing thoughts? I know your mom wants to get going. She's thinking, "Come on, Claire, let's get." We should we talk to your mom? You want to talk to your mom? If you want, it's up to you. Let's see how she handles it. <laughs> you want to interview your mom? Sure. Okay, so good luck. This is Clara Hofford. She won the Sandy Tatum Award, Outstanding Participant in the NorCal Academy, just this past week up in Pebble Beach. Uh, one, one of my favorite people of all time. And uh, good luck with this interview. She's going to interview her mama. I'm scared. Okay. Um, Did you say I'm scared? Yes. Here, come on over here. <laughs> Don't be scared. First of all, Mom, who do you like better, me or my brother? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just I kidding. Love you, I love you both. Wow. <laughs> I love you. Oh, wow. Go share the throat on the first question. Obviously the brother. Obviously Reed. <laughs> of course. So um, how is golf different from the other sports I've played in general? It was interesting to me when you started playing golf. But then once you started, I realized how much you loved it. So as, um, as I watch you, I'm actually learning to enjoy it more. Can I just follow up? Why interesting? What you said the word, it was interesting. Can you elaborate? Sometimes I think she's playing pinball, but I'm not sure. Oh. 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 <laughs> thanks, wow. thanks for that one, Mom. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. That's awesome. She threw in the I love you after that. Oh, that's funny. Um, how about... The, how do you how do you feel about the first tee leadership camps? Because I think they're great, but I'm sure as a parent you can see how they're really important. I wish we'd have known about the first tee um, years ago. Uh, when you came back, I, uh, what I can say is that you were so excited, and you were really um, you were really ready to go for it with your community service projects and school, and it just gave you this push and excitement that other people are out there doing the same thing you are. Cool. That's awesome. Keep going. I can't. I can't top that. Let's see. Um, I think you guys are going to lose your job as interviewers. Over. What do you yeah, think, think of the right. integrity and sportsmanship uh, in golf compared to other sports like softball or basketball? Pinball. <laughs> or pinball. Pinball is definitely important too. <laughs> no, I think it is amazing how um, when you guys when you guys do have a penalty, you call it on yourself, 
and the etiquette in golf. It's just an, a, an amazing sport. I'm learning a lot about it because, I, like I said, I did not know much um, about it. But compared to other sports, I love it. I love the, the people playing it, and I love the whole environment and what it stands for. It's just an amazing sport. I have a follow-up question, if I may. Um, obviously, she's great in sports. When you mentioned golf in the beginning, it surprised you because she struggled at first. Is that a yes? Yes. yes. It's because she's not used to seeing her struggle in most anything she does. Is that is that a yes? That is correct. It's just microphone here. So that then is, I'm going to ask. Correct. But I've also found out more to get to know her. She's she's extremely educated and very intelligent and very smart, and she loves to study. Matter of fact, she studied all the way up you know, when we drove up to Pebble. Um, so academics, athletics. Academics, she's the Mass Super Bowl champion, uh, I think four or five years in a row for Santa Barbara County. Wow. Uh, she studies every night. I don't even have to ask her to study. She's just an amazing student and an amazing person. I'm proud to be your mom. She's a pretty cool wow. kid. Wow. Do you put an emphasis on one over the other of those? Uh, my emphasis is on being a good person and giving back to your community, and it's the journey. I think for everything in life, it's actually the journey not the awards, and that's how we were She's in making family. me cry. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've, you've obviously a mission accomplished when you're raising this young lady because everything you just said is what she exemplifies and she exhibits that behavior. To you, academics, you didn't ever mention you're the Super Bowl math champion of the world. You never mentioned that to me. Congratulations. Very cool. So you got a few trophies hanging out in that room of yours? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so athletics or a academics, do you are they equal to you? Um. Academics are more important to me just because I think it's because I really love to do and I want to be an anesthesiologist. But I do still take golf seriously. It's just about finding the balance between your school, your sports, and, of course, your community, giving back other things you need to do, making those relationships. Why an anesthesiologist? I can't even no, say it. Anesthesiologist. Say yeah. <laughs> Iris Wishwatch. Well, 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 put <laughs> yeah. her to sleeper person. So, wow, I know. So um, he just asked a great question. Why anesthesiology? Um, I think yeah. it's because the medical field has always interested me, and I thought it's kind of cool because you get to see all the other operations. You're not really just confined to, oh. like, a cardiovascular surgeon is just the heart, or a neurosurgeon is just the brain. Yeah, you you got to stay everything. focused on keeping your person alive. Here. Yes. You're going to be sitting there gawking at these people. <laughs> Ooh, what, you, what are you cutting there? And then, <laughs> <laughs> it definitely... Especially if you're in an emergency room anesthesiologist and just getting to kind of stabilize the person and get them going before they really figure out what's going on, keeping them breathing, we got to keeping incubate. them alive. Incubate. <laughs> That's a pressure situation. So are, are, do you have medical, uh, are there medical people in your family? You have doctors in your family? Yes. My dad and my grandpa are both optometrists. So. Ooh, wow. Wow. Those eyeball people? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's correct. People. You are correct. <laughs> Oh, yeah, one of the first things with everyone she first mentioned is she came up to the cabin and checked in. <laughs> she has great teeth. Oh. <laughs> That's what everybody said. She's such a nice girl, but she has great teeth. <laughs> like it was on the application. You have great teeth. You have great teeth. Yeah. What did you say awesome. about a horse? Because yeah, she's. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you really don't. I was kind of surprised they brought her up. But she, because she smiles all the time. You know, it's nice. That's She's, cool. That's she does she's smile <laughs> all the time. Yeah. She has a beautiful smile. So, okay, I, I'm just wondering, Tim Patty, so. So you like academics, and, and wow, so you're just going to succeed, and you look what you've instilled in her. So congratulations yeah. to both of you. Thanks Very you. awesome. And, really, and, really cool. So at, at, at going into a software, you have any idea of colleges? Have you even thought about that yet? Um, I have looked at a few campuses since I want to get into medical school, which is very competitive more so than undergrad school. I was thinking maybe a UC. Uh, I kind of want to see UC Irvine and UC Davis. Cal Poly's close to home. I've seen that campus. It's really nice. That would be a good place to go. Is that a good school for medical to be in medical? Is that a good Cal Poly good for that, Mike? I don't know. I think they're good for pretty much everything. They're pretty yeah. pretty high up there. I bet you want to keep her close by. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you hesitated on that one. At least the brother. How to keep the brother around? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Exactly. yeah. Well, thank you again for being you, and thank you, Mike, for, for letting this young lady come in and visit yeah, Thank with us. you, Claire. We appreciate you and your mom coming in. Yeah, Good awesome. job with the interview. Thank you for having me. Yeah, you going home to much. study or going to play golf? Uh, play golf then study. That's my girl. Wow. I play golf when it's light outside, study when it's dark. <laughs> exactly. Uh, That's you, exactly awesome. what you do. What do you do for fun? For fun? Well, I do have my club at school where I do my community service through. We're called the Culture, Community, and Cuisine Club at Rigetti High School. 
Um, we're doing a community service project to fix up the garden at the Orchid Academy Independent Study in Kesmeria. So we do put a lot of time into that. I like giving back to the kids. I'm gonna, um, I want to be her when I grow up. Yeah, really. <laughs> so is it, is it a true rumor that you raised four thousand dollars in four hours at a bake sale? Yes, that was the. So you made a thousand dollars an hour at a bake sale. Yes, it was. Good, a, good. Those are some serious brownies, man. <laughs> it was. Wow. So, so, so what they, how much is a typical brownie? Eight hundred bucks. Well, it was. It was. A, <laughs> it was a bake sale by donation for the AIDS life. I get so it. A lot of the people were very generous. Well, I would that's, that's, take a brownie, leave a twenty. It was that. Kind that's of thing. very cool. Wow. And, and yeah, so you giving back. You're doing the right thing, young lady. The world's a better place because you're in it. No doubt. And about my it. life More is better like because you. I. I'm in, I'm in, you know, I'm around your life, so my life has been enhanced too. So thank you very much for that. No, thank you, Billy. So we'll thank see, you, guys. We'll see you soon. Okay. All righty. Thanks, Mom, for bringing her up. Yeah, thank you. Don't forget, Golf Talk Radio with Mike and Billy, brought to you by SundaleCountryClub.com, home of the Bakersfield City Championship for over 30 years. You can call them at six six one eight three one five two two four or visit SundaleCountryClub.com today. Also, McGowey Health Group. Uh, learn to live better, live healthier. Enjoy life more with McGowey Health Group, HealthySlowCounty.com, 805-461-8822 is their phone number, 805-461-8822. And don't forget that McGowey Health Group has sponsored our fantasy golf through PGATour.com. You can play fantasy golf with Mike and Billy and Nikki for free. Win a sleeve of golf balls courtesy of McGowey Health Group, Bridgestone sleeve of uh, golf balls, and you can check it out at PGATour.com. We'll be right back. Golf Talk Radio with Mike and Billy. We'll have clubbing with Dave on the other yeah. side. May I say something sticks. before you take us out of here? Yes. I'd like to apologize to the three of you for being snippy in the very first 30 seconds of this show. I'm sorry. It's there okay. Was... Sometimes it takes you a little while to warm up. It's good. No, I warmed up way before I got here. Oh, okay. I was just was snippy. <laughs> <That's all right. laughs> I wanted to impress this young lady and her mom, and we're going off, man. <laughs> no, that's all right. <laughs> so I just want to tell you I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not sorry for your actions, but I'm sorry that I snipped at you guys. Okay. <laughs> all right. Pretty, well, <laughs> still pretty pissed off you, at your actions, by the way. But I'm sorry for snipping it. Oh, we'll be right back, you guys. <laughs> Stay with us. Golf what Talk Radio with Mike and Billy on the Golf Talk Radio Network. <laughs>